The United States has put both options of pressure and diplomatic talks on the table when it comes to dealing with the increasing threat of North Korea's nuclear program. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken made the announcement in the South Korean capital of Seoul on Thursday, hours after a senior North Korean diplomat rejected any talks until Washington changed its policies. President Biden plans to complete a North Korea policy review uh, in the weeks ahead in close coordination and consultation uh, with the Republic of Korea, with Japan, with other key partners, including reviewing pressure options and the potential for future diplomacy. Blinken declined to elaborate when asked what approach the United States would take after the review. He was asked later if President Biden planned to meet with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and said, quote, in a sense, everything is on the table. We have a very open mind about it. The US says its strategy is aimed at not only addressing security concerns, but also the, quote, repressive North Korean government's widespread systematic abuses on its people. Earlier, a senior official from the North accused the US of playing a cheap trick in its attempt to make contact with Pyongyang. During Blinken's first visit to South Korea as Secretary of State, he also blamed China for undermining regional stability on the Korean peninsula, although those accusations have been rebuked by Beijing. Uh, I would hope that uh, whatever happens going forward, uh, China will use that influence effectively uh, to, uh, to work on uh, moving North Korea to denuclearization. He called for unity among allies, despite Seoul's hesitance to provoke China, its largest economic partner and an ally of North Korea. Accompanying Blinken on the trip was US Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, who later visited Seoul's National Cemetery, where he laid a wreath to honor the war dead from past conflicts.